Topic 3, Lesson 2, Place Value Relationships. Well, you know about representing numbers in the place value system and the names of each place. In this lesson, you're going to look more closely at those places and see how they relate to each other. So let's take a look at the standard here. The standard is recognize that in a multi-digit whole number, a digit in the one place represents 10 times what it represents in the place to its right. So let's take a look at our focus. Our focus is how do the digits in a multi-digit number relate to each other? How are they connected somehow? So let's take a look at our first example. Our first problem here is this number, 770. And so what is the relationship between the value of the first seven to the value of the second seven? And so you want to stop and think. And one of the ways that might actually help you is you can even draw a place value chart. So let's go ahead and do that. And we could label it. This is your ones. This is your tens. And this is your hundreds. And so that might be, help you identify that this really isn't a 7. It's actually 70. And this really isn't a 7 either. It's 700. So if you realize that, that'll help you work through the rest of this. So what we can see, though, is that this 7 is actually 10 times as much as that 7. How do I know? Well, if this one is 700 and this one is really 70, really 70 times 10 gets you 700. So if you 700 is 10 times as much as the 7 next to it. So the value of the first 7 is 10 times as great as the value of the second 7. Let's try another example. Take a look at this number. What is the relationship between the value of the first 3 to the second 3? So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? Let's take a look. And again, if we wanted to, we could draw our place value chart. And we could label it. You have your ones, and then your tens, and then your hundreds, and then your thousands. And again, this is really 300, not 3. And this is really 3,000, not just a 3. So once again, just like in the problem before, this 3, the 300 times 10, will actually get you 3,000. So again, this value, 3,000, the values, value of the first 3 is 10 times as great as the value as the second 3. All right, now try some on your own. Good luck.